Hi guys, George Donnelly here talking to you today uh, again about Steam and Steam It. <clears throat> I don't know, I guess I got the Steam It bug again. Uh, but, um, you know, thanks to all the emails from you uh, new users and the, the views on uh, my videos, you have inspired me. <clears throat> so, uh, but I, I haven't been re actually reading Steam It again yet. I'm a little bit afraid. But anyway, what I want to talk about today is uh, selecting a topic for your Steemit blog. <clears throat> now, uh, the idea here is, you know, as we discussed in the video yesterday, is to pick something that is going to be useful to other people, right? Because your Steemit uh, blog, or really any media outlet, you know, because you shouldn't think. Uh, uh, you shouldn't conceive of this project of a Steemit blog as just being about Steemit. It's not a Steemit blog, it's about you. It's about you being of service to the world, or some part of it. So there's the creation side, uh, the um, artistic side, the um, the strategic side, that's all one side there, and then there's the distribution side, right? So, Steemit is not the only place that you can distribute your work. You can distribute it simultaneously to Steemit, to Medium, maybe to YouTube if you're producing video content, uh, maybe uh, if you're producing uh, photos to Instagram, uh, to Facebook, to Twitter, uh, where else? To your own website. Yes, to your own website. That's maybe the most important place to post it. Because you can uh, put up a mailing list there and start having a direct uh, contact with your audience. No matter what, what distribution, um, you know, what form of whatever distribution channel uh, they've found you through. Uh, and also books. You can produce books and audio books. You know... If you're producing content on a regular schedule, uh, you know, let's say you produce a 2,000-word uh, article every two weeks. In a year, that's 52,000 words. Maybe you could turn that into a book. Okay? So, um, don't just limit yourself to thinking about this as a quick way to make some cash, some cryptocurrency on uh, Steemit. Try to conceive of this as something bigger. Now, you may resist trying to think of it as something bigger because you're just in this for a quick buck and this is, you should just click away now because my advice is not going to be useful to you. Uh, how do you make a quick buck on Steemit? I haven't a clue, okay? I got to be honest, I made some quick bucks on Steemit, but um, that's not what I set out to do. Uh, you know, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am is not my thing. Uh, so, step one, okay? So yesterday we were talking about, you know, let's stop thinking about what's in it for me. Let's start thinking about what's in it for you. Uh, I'd like you to come up with a list. I'd like you to sit down for 20 minutes after you're done watching this video. Set a timer for 20 minutes if you need, need to. Sit down with a pad of paper and a pencil or pen. And uh, write down a list of things... Ideally, 10 to 20 things, topics, whatever, that interest you. That you think you could be passionate about, or maybe you, you're already passionate about them. Maybe you already know a lot about them. Uh, sometimes we know a lot about things, and we forget that we know a lot about those things. For example, for a decade, um, I uh, administered dozens of free BSD uh, servers. Sometimes I forget. I know quite a lot about administering free BSD servers, jails and, uh, you know, uh, ports and all that stuff. And by ports, I don't mean network ports. Um, is that what they're called, ports on uh, free... I forget. See, it's been a while, okay? But if I refresh myself, you know, another thing, I, for five years I studied German. Sometimes I forget that. Um, you probably have a lot of knowledge in you could be about your town, about uh, your language, about something you've studied in the past. Could be 
you used to be, you used to read, you've read hundreds of uh, books on a certain topic. Could be uh, you've watched all the movies in a certain genre, okay? There are many, many areas of human knowledge and uh, some of us, a lot of us, I think, pick up things without even really thinking about it because we just enjoy it so much. So this is your exercise. Sit down, come up with a list of 10 to 20 things that interest you. Now, this is not where we stop. Now, your next step is go to something like um, Amazon.com or uh, Social Blade, where they have, uh, you know, YouTube channels uh, classified by, uh, you know, how much money they make, uh, subscribers, daily views, things like that. Now, find some YouTube channels um, that are making solid money that have shown interest, that have interest shown in them via subscribers and daily views and whatnot, um, and see if any of that intersects with the things that you're interested in. So maybe um, you are interested in um, India. Let's say you're interested in India. Uh, maybe you live in India. Maybe you are interested in Indian food. Uh, are there any, is there any demonstrated success of YouTube channels that talk about Indian food or Indian travel? <laughs> I bet there are. And you're not, you, let, let, let's just be careful. You're, if you go and you look, you may find that there are a dozen successful channels already existing about this topic. And you may think, this is saturated. I can't do this. Somebody's already wrong, 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 wrong. You want topics that have, uh, have a demonstrated, proven track record of success because that means there's a market for it and you can fit into that market. Um, in the past, I've done projects where I've tried to do something with that nobody else is doing and uh, more often than not, I have failed because guess what? Nobody's doing it because nobody's interested in it, okay? So don't be discouraged when you find a dozen other people doing um, the same thing that you think you might like to do. Uh, guess what? Those people are potential collaborators. Uh, those people have already found and consolidated the market. You, maybe you can work with them in the future once you've demonstrated your commitment and your expertise. Um, go to Amazon. You know, maybe your thing is plumbing. Plumbing is an excellent trade. Okay, let me tell you, I almost went into plumbing. Uh, I seriously thought about it um, because it is an in-demand trade. It's, it's, it's a necessary skill for living a civilized life. Um, so maybe you're into plumbing. Maybe you know a lot about it. Maybe you want to teach people about how to do plumbing. So uh, go and look on Amazon about products or books or whatever about plumbing. Um, do they exist? Okay, because if there are products on Amazon about that that you know that you think are good or useful or have shown interest, well, that means that the people have interest in that, and maybe you can sign up as an Amazon affiliate and sell those products and in using your content and make money from that. Okay, so uh, other places you can look. Are there popular blogs about your topic? How are those blogs making their money? What are they selling? Because you don't want to be, you don't want to try to make money from advertising. You want to, um, you want to eventually have a product, whether that's somebody else's product or a product you make. This is, a, this is an advanced topic. We're not going to get into it too much yet. But uh, I want you to sit down as your exercise. Take those 20 minutes, set a timer if need be. Write a list of those things that you're passionate about. Then go out and see if there is a demonstrated interest, commercial interest, in, in those topics already existent. And that, if there is, then that will constitute a viable, a potentially viable business idea. Now, once you have that, uh, I want you to share the results of your research with me. Uh, send me an email, me at georgedonnelly.com. Um, I, for up to 20 people 
who are seriously uh, taking on this journey of creating a profitable uh, Steam It blog. And like I said, it's not just about Steam It, okay? But maybe that's the primary thing you're focusing on now. For up to 20 people, I'm going to take you on uh, as uh, free consulting clients. I'm going to help you in this journey. I'm going to be your uh, silent partner. I'm going to be your mentor, your... Um, your sounding board, whatever you want to call it, okay? You're going to be able to email me. We're going to be in touch. I'm going to give you ideas. We're going to work together, okay? Uh, free, no charge. You're not going to owe me a thing for this. Um, but, you know, I am going to use the things I learned from this process to help others achieve these same goals. So uh, send me that email, me at georgedonley.com, with the results of your research. Now put in some work here. Don't, don't you know, uh, softball this, okay? Put in some real work here. Uh, impress me. Let me see what you come up with, okay? Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Just kidding. But send me that email. Do this exercise, okay? Today is the day when things can change. And I'm here to help you do it.